Hi guys, so I'm going to go ahead and start with adding my glass glue beads and then or rock pieces and then I'm going to add the silver leafing bits to that. I will get to the desired look that I want and then I'll follow by proceeding on the curing process and building from that point. Okay, so we're almost done there, you guys. Almost done. I really enjoy using a clear resin background in doing earrings like this, such as with foil and another like type of bead or gem. It makes it look like it's almost being suspended in air. Now, I do have too much gaps in some spots where the foil leaving is, so that's, again, an added benefit of having clear resin because I can just go back in and fill those spots. The placement of my resin is really going to be me just spreading it out and then placing my post inside, and then I'll fill it up additionally so that I can kind of dome this backing. And I am going to just use that rounded bit to center right at the rounded part of the actual post. Now that the air backing is set, I am going to finish filling the back and I'm also going to encapsulate the base of the earring back. Okay, so I have filled up the back and the post is now domed. You can see it's finished off. So now it's time to address the front and set the stone on the top. I'm using this foam because it helps me to keep my earring post level and still I attach my gem, set that in place, and then after I set those gems in place, I'm going to go over the post with another coat of resin, excluding going over the top of the gems. So you guys, I really, really enjoy doing these earrings. Like I said, these are two of my most favorite colors. That being said, I hope the person that is going to receive these really enjoy them.